Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. Now this video is going to be relatively quick. We're going to talk about a lot of things and there's a lot of big announcements right now as well. So guess what happens when the leading oil producers all cut oil production as America's president refuses to increase oil production? On Sunday, Saudi Arabia, joined by Russia and other OPEC oil producers, announced they are rolling out voluntary cuts to their oil production. As much as 1.15 million barrels per day will stop being produced. The oil cuts are expected to lead to higher gas prices in the United States. And that's what's coming. If you live here in the U.S., expect to pay much higher prices for gas very soon. Saudi Arabia to adopt economic strategy without U.S. dependence. Now, I feel that Saudi Arabia is about ready to stand up on the world stage and say we're done with the U.S. dollar. If they do that, watch how fast the U.S. dollar plummets in value. The decision is reportedly following a decline in relations with the Biden administration. According to the report, the capital of Saudi Arabia was annoyed by the new ruling by the Biden administration last week. The Biden administration ruled out new crude purchases in an effort to refill a stockpile that was drained last year. This was also reported to be an effort by the White House to curb inflation. So it looks like they're done with this administration's nonsense saudi arabia i believe at some point is going to make that announcement and when they do crypto and the stock market are going to have a blow off top while the u.s dollar crashes in value and i believe that is coming very soon u.s fed could inject up to two trillion dollars into the banking system through emergency loan program jp morgan that's not good either. You know, they keep talking about curbing inflation, and at the same time, they're giving out more money. More money is going into the system, causing higher inflation at the same time. And at, at a time when U.S. bank deposits are down by almost $225 billion in the last two weeks. I believe that's happening because more and more people are getting smart. They're starting to realize that the banks aren't as safe as they once thought. You know, everybody was always under the assumption, I don't care if the money's in the bank. If something happens, the government will bail everyone out. But now the talk with bail-ins, people are like, oh no, you know, the banks are in trouble. They could easily take my money instead of government money. And I believe people are looking for better investments. Some are probably pouring their money into crypto. Second wave of bank runs start. Demise of the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency accelerates. Depositors have finally awoken. The second wave of the bank run has begun, Barclays warns. And I believe this is happening at a very catastrophic time. We have Saudi Arabia pulling away from the dollar. BRICS also pulling away from the U.S. dollar. Then we have the Fed pushing more money into the system, and we have less people putting money in the bank. Do you see what's happening? A perfect storm is happening. And I feel at some point, we're going to see a massive change in this country. And people are fed up. So listen to the bankers. Now this is their logic, okay? So where do we go for advice? Sorry to you banker, bank haters out there. Most of the potential lessons and future remedies will be coming from Wall Street. Yes, these guys are often self-interested, greedy bastards, which is why they perpetually the target of populist scorn, both left and right. They get pillared when stuff goes wrong. And they're going to turn to the same people that have gotten bailouts in the past, enriched themselves off of our banking system, and that's who the Treasury, the Fed, and the White House is going to for advice. How can you not see this is going to definitely go wrong on so many levels? This is all creating that perfect storm for the U.S. dollar to fall. XRP predictions. In which month and year will one XRP be worth a thousand USD? And we see here, everyone, including all decoders, influencers, messengers, and bots, are invited to post their prediction below. I want you to put your prediction below because this is kind of a trick question, in my opinion. It says, in which month and year will 1XRP be worth 1,000 USD? 
I don't think it's ever going to be worth a thousand USD. I think XRP is going to hit high price points, but what is it going to be based on? What currency? Because I believe once XRP does hit those high numbers, we're never cashing out to US dollars. At that point, hopefully there's a different option available. Hopefully gold or silver is made available to trade your XRP for physical gold or silver. Who knows? We're not quite there yet. But I do believe we're going to see a lot of new industries popping up around this. Crypto friendly, you know, corporations that are able to offer you physical gold or maybe a different currency. Who knows? Maybe the BRICS will have a currency at that point that we'll be cashing out into. Because I do believe the U.S. dollar will not have value when we're ready to take profit on XRP. And the other option is passive income as well. Retweet if you believe you're pre-rich if you hold XRP. How many of you feel that you're already rich? You're just waiting for it to happen. Because I've always felt like that the whole time I've ever held XRP. I always thought, you know, I'm already rich. It just has to take place at some time in the future. And I believe as long as you're, you're holding XRP, you're going to also become part of the new 1% at some point. If you play your cards right, if you don't do dumb things, like people cash out and they go buy a Lambo and a mansion and all of a sudden their money disappears. If you play it smart and you conserve, you can definitely live off of your XRP at some point for the rest of your life. May 16, 1997, Amazon was trading for 99 cents USD. March 31st, 2023, Amazon is trading for 103 USD. September 1st, 2013, XRP was trading for well under a penny. April 2nd, 2023, XRP is trading for 52 cents. Be patient. 99% will not make it. But for those of you who are willing to stick it out until the end, generational wealth. And I, I always felt we can get generational wealth. We will never have to sell our XRP in the future. If you want to get passive income, there's going to be more and more options opening up. Look at Flair Finance. People saying you can't compare Amazon to XRP are 10,000% are correct. You can't compare an online bookstore turned e-commerce company to the future of finance. Simply incomparable. You are holding something far better than Amazon, in my opinion. XRP is going to be moving the world's money on a daily basis. Never forget that. I am a DCTA org member. A group has formed to stop the SEC from hurting crypto. Now, I thought this was very good because this is something that needed to be done. The SEC seems to be under the impression that it has the right and the authority to police the entire crypto space. In the past several weeks, it has gone after many of the world's leading digital currency platforms, a big one being Kraken. As one of the USA's largest and most popular digital currency exchanges, the firm was forced to pay a $30 million fee to the SEC and cease all its Ethereum staking services. The new campaign is dubbed Stop the SEC and is looking to put a damper in the alleged influence the organization has over crypto and other portions of the financial area. The CDTA's Deputy Director Kevin Traumer explained in a recent interview, We created this campaign to connect everyday consumers with their congressional representatives so they can tell them firsthand how the SEC regulation by enforcement approach to crypto is hurting their investment and it's nice to see that because you know the sec is supposed to be out there saving us helping us not hurting us the way they are you know anybody who was holding xrp before december 20th of 2020 was in good standing they were happy they were waiting for the next run and then what happened this lawsuit started and all of a sudden xrp plummeted in value most people are still not back to where they bought in. Other people bought later, and they bought with hopes that the case was going to end within a few short months, and the case drug on all throughout the past two years, and is still going today. The whole time, though, it's suppressing the price of XRP. Some people could have taken profit along the way, probably changed their lives somehow. 
Other people sold and got away from crypto altogether, sold at a loss, never coming back. The SEC has hurt more retail investors, in my opinion, than anyone else. Because I feel that by the way Gary is treating crypto, it's hurting retail investors, it's hurting innovation in this country at one of the worst times, in my opinion. Because I just showed you everything that's going on around the U.S. dollar. This is a time we should be embracing innovation, not pushing it out of the country. Then you got to look at the fact of how many people that probably are still trapped in crypto because they haven't got back to the value where they bought in before. Some people, you got to remember, bought the top back in 2017. A lot of people forget that. They're still stuck here in XRP. They probably thought back in 2021, this was their chance to cash out, but it's it stayed suppressed and never broke out to a new all-time high. But I do believe that very soon, XRP is going to show a new all-time high, and it's going to continue upward because there's a lot of things that are going to give value to XRP. you got to remember the case ending, ISO, that's something that I still believe we haven't even seen any value from yet. Then you got to remember there's going to be a lot of ODL corridors opening up all the time. And especially if Ripple wins against the SEC, even here in the U.S., banks are going to embrace XRP and that ODL. They're going to have to once the liquidity crisis sets in. But on top of that, you look at the XRP ledger and it's exploding with all new building going on all the time. That's going to add value as well. So with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.